Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. Honestly, Gorilla, I think I need a vacation. A vacation? Playing with toys isn't necessarily hard work. Well, I'm exhausted with this routine. We need to get away. How about a road trip? That's a great idea. Yeah? Yeah, it reminds me of the Playmobil VW Microbus. Playmobil? Isn't that for babies? Playmobil's for everybody, Jess. Does this mean we're not going anywhere? There's no time because today we're looking at the VW Microbus by Playmobil. I should not have asked. Brass Holly, hit the music! <laughs> In 1971, Hans Beck, then the head of development for German manufacturer Geobra Brandstatter, began research on what would later become a worldwide favorite to kids and adults alike. The idea was to make a toy that was not too complex and not too flexible. Beck believed that too much flexibility would get in the way of children's imaginations, too much rigidity would cause frustration. A small figure that would fit into a child's hand with a big smiling head, kids reacted favorably to these figures without any context. In 1973, Brandstatter, wanting to switch to toy products that use less plastic, pulled the trigger on Playmobil. The first sets to be released were Native Americans, construction workers, and knights. Later, cowboys, soldiers, and motorcycle enthusiasts would be released, if you were wondering. Anyway, the figure sets were a big hit. Playmobil would eventually be sold all over the world, and you can still get them to this day. And along the way, they've added historical figures, license sets, and their own original concepts. Playmobil sets are usually pretty detailed. While the figures or clickies are 6 to 8 point articulated figures with simple detail, the buildings and vehicles can be surprisingly very realistic in comparison. Speaking of vehicles, Playmobil teamed up with VW to recreate in Playmobil form two of the 20th century's most iconic vehicles, the Beetle and T1 Camping Bus, also known as a Microbus. My good buddy Jamelin came through with the VW bus for me when I couldn't find one in my neck of the woods. Thanks, Jamelin. Anyway, I can't wait anymore, so let's take a look at the Playmobil product number 70176, the Volkswagen T1 camping bus. All right, so here it is, the Playmobil officially licensed Volkswagen T1 camping bus or as it's otherwise known micro bus one of the coolest cars of all time and in my opinion in my opinion i always liked the micro bus i like the look of it i don't know why i liked it and when i saw that playmobil was doing an, an x volkswagen sort of promotion or a crossover a collab as the kids say nowadays. Uh, I was very excited and uh, wanted to get this very, very badly. And I couldn't find this friggin' thing anywhere. I looked high and low. Uh, and then my good friend, Jamelin, came through um, with the Playmobil Microbus, got it for me. And thank you so much, sir, so I could get this in my collection. Um, very, very cool. I am a big fan of Playmobil vehicles and play sets. I do like the way that their stylized sort of form of, uh, of I don't know, artwork, you might want to call it. The way they do things, I really, really like. I like the realisticness of the objects and the vehicles and things like that with these very simplified, very uh, just streamlined little people that you know don't have a lot of articulation, uh, <laughs> have barely any expression, but fit perfectly somehow into these uh, play sets and vehicles that Playmobil makes. Now, let's take a look at the, the, the box here. We've got some really nice looking artwork. We have the Volkswagen Microbus uh, taking a corner here on along the beach, maybe somewhere um, 
in, in Europe, perhaps, because we have the European license plate there. Um, we got a couple of hippies in inside the, the bus and uh, in their, their gear, their camping gear there on the top here. And as we turn the box around, we get to see some uh, some snapshots of the of the micro bus. We see a, a photo here at the beach uh, with all the, the different accessories that we have. We have a little kitchen in the back, it looks like, a little kitchenette, a little fold-out table, and some, uh, and some seats. And the interior looks freaking cool. Also, looks like it's convertible. We can uh, turn the seats into a bed, and uh, also you can pop the hood, uh, which is on the back of the Volkswagen vehicles. We have on these particular vehicles, we have the rear mounted engine and looks pretty cool. Looks all pretty true to life. Also, uh, collect them all. There was also a Beetle as well. I like that as well, but I uh, really, really, really wanted to get the micro bus. I think the micro bus is super cool. Trademarks, design, patents, and copyrights are used with the approval and the owner, Volkswagen AG. And that's pretty much it. All your legal mumbo jumbo is uh, elsewhere on the package, maybe on the bottom. Who cares? Because today we're taking a look at Playmobil officially licensed Volkswagen T1 camping bus, and I cannot wait any longer to get this damn thing open and put it together. So let's see what it looks like outside the box. All right, so let's take a look at the VW uh, Type 1 camping bus or micro bus, if you will. Um, very, very cool. Took a little while to get it put together. I did take my time and made sure all the stickers were nice and straight. There are uh, um, quite a few stickers, but not it. if you're used to uh, building Gundams as I am, uh, these stickers are, are no problem. No sweat, no worries, if you will. Um, but let's take a look at the uh, this this vehicle. Very, very cool. We've got the front emblem on there, with the Volkswagen emblem, license plate, all the lights. Every, everything looks like it's the, the vehicle itself is very almost hyper-realistic, um, true to the real life counterpart of it. Um, and again, the people are, are, are the ones that look kind of kind of cartoonish or stylized. Yeah, we open up the, the trunk here and we can see the engine in the back. Looks very, very cool. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of this vehicle. Like you can see in the whole little bits and pieces. It's not like it's, you know, uh, incredibly painted. They didn't do a, a McFarlane dry brush on it or anything like that, but just enough detail to make it look just right, just right. Uh, down to the rubber tires, the VW logos on the hubcaps, spins really well, rolls, you could roll it across the kitchen floor if you want. Up here we've got the luggage rack, um, which carries a suitcase, um, which has some stuff inside, some goodies inside, um, some luggage inside if you will. Also, uh, it looks like a camera bag, and I think you can fit the camera. The camera we've got on one of our characters. Uh, let's take a, a quick look at her. The lady, uh, she has a, a camera uh, with a little strap. It's, I think it's like a rubber band, um, but works out very well. Hangs just right, looks great. She looks like, uh, you know, like a hippie lady. She's got flowers on her pants, little, little brown moccasin shoes on. <laughs> out for out, it, camping in the wild. Uh, our other character that we receive in here is the dude he's got a he got a big bushy hippie beard and a, and a flannel shirt on and some green shorts and maybe some hiking boots on i'm very very cool it's like a 1970s hippie guy like hey man hey Dave's not here man. anyway <laughs> that's, that's, that's that guy he's pretty cool um as we open up the the doors here um, you can see lots of cool little details. We've got the, the the floor. The floor looks like the floor inside of VW Microbus. Well, also the uh, you turn it a little bit. You can see we have the interior. The interior has this cool plaid. Comes with a map 
and then find out where you want to go. Uh, on the doors here, you have a uh, little little uh, groceries. You got some uh, some fish and veggies. You've got some milk and, and crackers or cookies or whatever. Uh, you've got a nice little uh, sort of mirror, uh, a vanity mirror, so you can brush your teeth in the morning and, and, and brush your hair, get all uh, nice and cleaned up, you dirty hippie. And uh, also you got this little table down here for preparing, preparing your food. Pull that down there and uh, you can put any of your, your objects on there. You have a little sink uh, with cups and a thermos. And underneath the sink, you have storage under there. You have a kitchen table that you can, you can fold out. Also, you can fold this back part into a bed and use that for uh, your 1960s and 70s free love. Also, and then it all kind of comes together. It's easy to, to open up and, and switch out and take apart and do all the things that you need to, or you would want to do with it. It's very, very cool. I love this playset. It's a playset because it comes with so many accessories. It's not just a vehicle. It's not just a couple of clicky, if you will. It's all of that. And, uh, and when you put them all together, they're greater than the sum of their parts. The VW Microbus by Playmobil. Well, that's the VW Microbus by Playmobil. What'd you guys think of this line? Let us know in the comments down below. That's a cool car, but can we please get out of here? Sure, episode's over. We'll see you next week. Oh, come on. Raz Holly, hit the music.